So how do we make sure that the things that have been passed down to us are the things that God really wants to have in our lives? But how do we make sure that the instructions that we are handing down are the ones that we really truly want our children to have? And how do we make sure the ones that we've received are the ones we really want to have play out in our lives? Now what's really incredible here is if you look at this graphic, you'll see that in both cases this little infant starts out with the instructions that he was given. But then there's two different paths he can take it. This infant can go on the top path where maybe he eats good, eats good food, works out, rides his bike on a daily basis, you know, and, uh, and, and really gets in shape, and then can have children who also take on that fitness piece. In the second one, you know, maybe there's a lot of junk food, there's a lot of use of drugs and alcohol, and when they do all these things, it affects their genetics, and when they have their children, their children end up in a similar path. This is probably one of the most simplified pictures of what epigenetics is. So even though epigenetics hands you your information, your lifestyle becomes the story. Your lifestyle becomes the thing that reads the information. So we actually have a choice on how these instructions get pulled up. Now this picture that he gives is really powerful because one of the things that allows people to actually break free from some of these cycles is the ability to develop warm and meaningful relationships. And simply by making even just a small change, her relationships began to shift with it. And I believe Jesus wants something like that for us too.